Do you know that Elon Musk just announced that SpaceX will go bankrupt soon? Do you want to know what exactly went wrong in SpaceX and how close they actually are to the state of bankruptcy? Will Elon Musk be able to handle and solve the situation? How can this happen? Let's get into the details of all this and explore if it is true. SpaceX is an American aerospace manufacturer, space transportation services and communications corporation company. The company was founded in 2002 by the multi-talented tech icon and billionaire Elon Musk. The main goal of creating such a huge company was to reduce space transportation costs to enable the colonization of Mars. SpaceX has successfully added $122.3 billion to Musk's fortune this year increasing his net worth to $292 billion. According to the Bloomberg Index, he is the first man on Earth to achieve such a huge fortune, making him the richest man in the world. So what exactly happened that the dream company SpaceX is on the verge of bankruptcy? Elon Musk and SpaceX have become a household name in the US in less than two decades. The company has visualized and progressed from Musk's dream of a greenhouse experiment on Mars to conducting the majority of US rocket launches. SpaceX is a private space flight company that sends satellites into orbit and delivers cargo services. It had been the first private company to send a cargo ship to the International Space Station. The company sent its first two astronauts to the ISS on May 30, 2020 in the SpaceX Crew Dragon and followed up with a test flight and a successful launch of four astronauts on November 15, 2020. SpaceX has a value of more than $100 billion and close to 9,500 employees around the world. The company has achieved the status of the second most valuable private company in the world. So then, why did Elon Musk warn its employees about the risk of bankruptcy? The real problem lies within the Starship. You must know that the Starship is a massive next-generation rocket. SpaceX is developing the Starship to launch cargo and people on moon missions and finally Mars. The company is now in the testing phase and has created prototypes at a facility in southern Texas. SpaceX had also launched various test flights that have covered a short distance. The main problem is that to move into orbital launches, the rocket prototypes will need more than 39 Raptor engines, and each Raptor needs a huge increase in engine production. It is interesting to know that Raptor engines are used to power the Starship. Starship can be described as a gigantic, completely reusable ship developed by SpaceX to facilitate people and cargo to the moon and eventually Mars. For this purpose, each Starship will need a lot of Raptor engines. It is estimated that the first stage giant booster called Super Heavy will need as many as 33 Raptor engines while 6 for the superior spacecraft known as a Starship. SpaceX has planned to produce and operate a large fleet of Starships in the coming years. Elon Musk had announced that if he has to fulfill his dream of colonizing Mars, he will need more than a thousand of these spaceships. SpaceX aims to manufacture a huge quantity of Raptor engines in recent times. However, the company is behind schedule to meet this challenge. Elon Musk sent an email to SpaceX employees and in this email, Musk described the Raptor engine production situation as a major crisis. He also mentioned that the situation is getting much worse than was a few weeks ago. And he would have to forego a planned Thanksgiving weekend break to work on the Raptor production line. He also asked all SpaceX employees to pitch in this crisis and wrote, Unless they have a critical family matter or cannot physically return to Hawthorne, we will need all hands on deck to recover from what is quite frankly a disaster. The Raptor engine production crisis is much worse than it seemed a few weeks ago. Elon Musk has repeatedly called the production phase the most difficult stage of creating these huge rockets by SpaceX. The company is also building a new factory at its McGregor, Texas site for large-scale production of Raptor engines. SpaceX is building Raptor engines at its Hawthorne, California headquarters for now. Musk mentioned that the McGregor factory will be able to produce 2-4 to four Raptor engines per day. This is huge. But for now, the company has not stated any exact date for its opening. You must be wondering why exactly this crisis happened in the first place. Musk's email did not mention any specific details of the issue, but people are suggesting that this crisis came after the recent departure of Will Helsley, the vice president of propulsion at SpaceX. Helsley had been appointed at SpaceX in 2009 and progressed to the role of vice president of propulsion in 2018. In his tenure, there had been major problems in scaling up Raptor production. 
Now Raptor Engine production is led by Jacob McKenzie, who has worked for the company for the last six years. The change in upper management reveals that there had been signs of this crisis beforehand. Apart from the mission Moon and Mars, the starships are essential for Starlink V2. SpaceX has launched 1700 Starlink satellites into orbit so far. Musk revealed that the first version of the satellite is financially weak. The company has been working towards growing Starlink's user base. For now, it has about 140,000 users who are paying for its service at $99 a month. In 2021, SpaceX had been working on improving the second version of the satellites. Musk mentioned in his email that V2 is strong but can only be launched effectively by its Starship rockets. The Starship is designed to be completely reusable and SpaceX would need just a few operational ships to be able to fly twice a month. But as of now, SpaceX's Starships are in the test flight phase which would progress in the coming year. SpaceX is also gearing up to launch its first orbital test flight which will involve a Starship prototype called SN20 and a super heavy known as Booster 4. These entire landmark missions are planned to be in February 2022 which is just around the corner. The Federal Aviation Administration is in the process of finalizing the environmental review of the Starship's orbital launch site in South Texas by the end of December. Musk has stated that SpaceX has launched Silink satellites with its Falcon 9 rockets, but those rockets do not have the mass or volume needed to effectively deploy the second generation satellites. This means that the success of the Raptor engine program is essential for the long term financial stability of SpaceX. The company is investing massive capital in the production of end user terminals with the goal of several million units per year. These terminals depend on the additional bandwidth of the second generation of Starlink satellites and can be useless otherwise. SpaceX is facing a major threat of bankruptcy. Elon Musk wrote in the critical email, We can face the genuine risk of bankruptcy if we cannot achieve a Starship flight rate of at least once every two weeks next year. According to an industry source, Musk is planning 26 massive launches by the end of the year 2022. These launches will be more by the end of the year with one after the other. Elon Musk has always worked hard enough to achieve his massive success and worked through all of his problems and set back turning them into successful projects. By this time, the crisis of Starship Raptor engines is huge and is very critical for the future of SpaceX. Musk mentioned that this crisis is urgent and needs to be fixed as soon as possible. For this, he needs all his employees to cooperate with him. So that is all for today. If you would like to receive more updates about tech related news, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Do let us know your thoughts about the bankruptcy of SpaceX. Will Elon Musk be able to solve this problem? What are your views on this? Don't forget to share in the comments section. Thank you for watching.